Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. Um, I said it once, I said it a hundred times. I really need to work on that um, production quality, I guess, of the stream. I don't know. Um, I, sometimes it bothers me, like, starting up and I feel like I just need to put, like, a little splash screen. Something. Just a tiny little anything. Because, like, I just hate having, like, the stream go live and then I'm sitting there, I'm not talking or anything, right? Like, normally I'm, I'm taking a sip or two and I'm waiting to get a notification that I have gone live uh, before I start talking. It seems weird. I don't know. I actually just had a little bit of popcorn myself, Mr. Grinch. Um, we made some... We were uh, well, playing a game, actually. Uh, Kaylin and I earlier tonight, and we still had a little leftover on the counter, so I was like, yeah, I'll just have a couple kernels, why not? So let's get going here. Um, oh yeah, that's something we could do. Take a minute here at the start. And I can get, um... Get this going, perfection. Got our sound sense, shounding pretty good. Okay, make cloth rope needs one unused plant cloth. Let's find out. I'm just gonna build a chain real quick. Uh, chain I thought was J. Here's to be cage. Chain, chain, chain. Restraint B. Okay, so we don't have any cloth apparently. Just curious. Pretty sure we did. Pretty sure I built a or bought a crap load of cloth. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a little bit anyway. So I think today the plan is going to be getting the the sort of burrows going. Have we set all this up for smoothing? Not yet. Um. All right, we don't want to smooth that wall because eventually it's going to be glass. But we do want all this smoothed up. Nice. Oh, we haven't queued all this up for smoothing either. Okay, we're gonna have. Plenty of stuff to do for our little dwarves, which is good. Uh, honestly, want to have a lot of engravers, want to keep them busy. That's all the good stuff. And I'm very curious about the, um, our clothier. This one? Yeah. I'm very curious that we don't have any things to make a rope with. Oh, you know why? Because um, I believe we have to weave cloth. Potentially. We might only have thread. We might not actually have cloth itself. Well, we'll see. We'll queue that up anyway. If it works or doesn't work. Maybe it's a yarn rope we have. I'm not sure. Pretty sure we have pigtail cloth. Pigtail. Hmm. We can go ahead and check. Go F1. Look at that. We're doing it. We're doing things. Okay. So cloth bin right here. Pigtail cloth. Okay. Pretty sure we bought some of that. It's possible though that I mostly just bought leather and I forgot. Something I've done before. I do forget things. Pardon moi. And I need restraint devices to make traction benches. Remind me later that I do want to get a hospital going. It's going to be pretty important, actually. Uh, we'll just queue up all doors. We get one doing all tables and all chairs. Now, I'm sure there is a way of setting this, and I wish I knew how to do it off the top of my head. But to... I think you need a manager, actually. But I think there is a way of setting, yeah, the profile. Like, create so many of one object. Like, always have, like, 30,000 tables or something. Which, obviously, you don't want 30,000. But always have, like, 30 on hand or something like that. Having a bunch of beds as well is good. We need a whole bunch of beds right now because we are going to be setting up the burrows. So we're going to be having a whole bunch of extraneous um, equipment or, um, like, rooms. I just said equipment because it was the first thing that came to my mind, but it's not really what I needed. 
Bucklers are actually not a bad idea either. Uh, I could probably probably get away with using some bucklers. Okay. Ding. I don't know if I've ever heard sound since ding before. Now oh, the merchants are leaving. Yeah, it needs one. A weave thread into cloth. Okay. But I sit here, he couldn't make cloth rope because he needs plant cloth. I don't know. He's trying to make a yarn rope. Let's see what happens here. It could be it counts as yarn. Which I mean, eh, either way. I'm okay with it. So is that still working? Is he doing that? It looks like yarn rope's okay, so I don't need it on repeat. Um, but we do need a lot of it. <laughs> so, if you can make yarn ropes, please make a whole bunch. Get some traction benches, we can get some... What else do we use that for? We can make a well, that'd be nice actually. Oh, I forgot. Who's our... Dr. Acceleron is our bookkeeper, of course. Not as cool as the stripper we had last time, but I'm, you know, still overall okay with it. Oh, we do have some tables now. Nice. Works for me. I don't think we have elves on this map, but I'm kind of hoping we don't so we can avoid some of the, the trickier things. Smell hematite ore. Sure. Alright, I have I have all these set up. Merchants have embarked on their journey. Most excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my, my stuff potentially. Oh why why you gotta do this to me, internet? Well not the internet per se, it's a website. Um Yes, yes. I, I, I see it all now. It's it's so beautiful. And really, another person got uh, possessed. Okay, well let's look. Who's the guy who's currently possessed? Strange mood. I'm not seeing it. Ah, here he is. Just our random woodcutter. Well, let's go ahead and give him a name. So we can at least, you know, have a name for this guy. We'll do Crazy Glitch. I don't think, I don't think we did Crazy Glitch, did we? I think we did actually. Now we have two Crazy Glitches. I think crazy Glitch was, yeah, we already did him. Now let's go ahead and change that to, um, hmm. What else could we do? Oh good, I've loaded my list up. Just say it's so annoying not having like a list of these names. Just handy, you know. That's better. That helps a lot. So apparently we have Ralph. Machio? How do you spell this? Machio. Yeah. Cool. You there. I'm building an artifact. Craft store workshop. workshop. Those are one of my favorites. Give me the workshop. Always happy give when people do that. Give it to me. Uh, okay. Give it to me. Uh, a rabbit is starving. Nothing new there. Crazy Glitch Jr. Uh, I think that's a pretty good name for one of these babies. Yeah. We, we can have crazy bug. Bugs aren't too far from glitches. Man, I hate freaking all these children doing nothing. Um, this one will be. Hmm. Oh, this one be. What do they call those anchor. It's a good name for a baby. Definitely wouldn't mind holding the boat down with one of them. Have splat. Uh, 
Um, Dead Baby is probably a fine name for one as well. We have like way too many children. Like, <laughs> just another baby. That's that one. That's one to watch out for. Actually, he's gonna try and differentiate himself from everyone else. And we'll have um, we'll have <laughs> Mrs. Grinch. You can you can have a little female version of you who is way too young, uh, two months old, and it's a boy. So, you know, in, in 16 years, you'll be able to have Mrs. Grinch potentially work. I'm going to try and... I wish there was a way you could easily get rid of children. Okay, question. I know killing them is not great, but selling them as slaves, would that... Um... Huh. I wonder if selling them as slaves would give unhappy thoughts or not. You know? Not sure. Okay, so our miners... Yeah. Our miners are idle, which is fine. Oh, nice! We did finish this! Okay, great. This is looking good, actually. Do we have that many craft stores? Uh, we're probably going to have many more, actually. Currently, we have what? 5, 10, 20? 20 rooms, is that right? Looks like. Yes and yes, but yeah, well... It's hard to say. Does the bed look better there or there? I think probably there. I don't think you'd normally walk into a room with bed straight across in the door. I don't think people normally do that, but... Hard to say. Sure, what everyone's preference on that is. Oh, I don't have enough beds to finish all these off anyway. Well, that's okay, we can get started. So, 20 craft dwarves. I think that's probably about reasonable for right now. I'm not sure how many we actually have. And then, of course, we need to get the the nice beds going for these merchant or the um, noble areas, rather. We can start assigning more nobles. Nice. But right now, we're basically just waiting on a few things. And Dwarf Fortress has, like, some, some weird things. For the most part, it makes sense. But then occasionally, it's like, you know, you, you can get away with unhappy... Like, for cats, for example. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can sell a cat and not have an unhappy thought. Um, but, you know, murdering it, butchering it, having it die randomly. These are all things that make the dwarves that the cat owns. Because it's never the other way around. The cat owns the dwarf. More migrants. Oh, not more migrants. We already have too frickin' many. My fortress isn't that good, guys. Okay, it's pretty good, actually. You know what more migrants speaks to me? What, what it says to my ears? I just hear... A whole nother military squad. Get some melee guys training. I like the sound of that. I think what we're eventually going to do is have... Like, in a... Well, we're going to be using the tower. So, yeah, the emergency... I think the military guys will never be too far off, I don't think. Missed a few days? Oh, sure. Um, we actually didn't play this the last, like two days I don't think but either way so we have the front entrance here for now it's hopefully gonna change um, because the idea is this is the, the tower and this is what we're gonna be using as the base of stuff and we'll just seal off the mountain basically um, but either way so we have like the trading area right now it's the depot the traders come in right here we have the the barracks for our ranged guys our crossbowmen all of which suck then we have the burrows for the, like, this is sort of the homes. Man, what the fuck? Who's fighting right now? I'm a hunter fighting people? Oh, he's killing porcupines. 
Reptile men and cave crocodiles are fighting. Have fun with that. Either way. Um, so our farmers are going to live here. Um, these are This is the farm. At some point we'll expand this, but you don't need actually that much room for farming in Dwarf Fortress as long as you're pretty careful. Uh, Ralph is creating some mysterious construction. So that's fine. Uh, underneath the tower, however, we have the, the main part of our fortress here. Just the Great Hall, which is quite huge. You've probably seen this before, though. That was a, a big construction. We have the beginning part of the Noble area. Um, we're going to have a much nicer one later on, but this is just for right now. We have, like, our bookkeeper here, our, um, our mayor. Over here, we have all the workshops. This is where all the craft stores do their working. And uh, we have the stockpiles over here for furniture and, like, finished goods and stuff like that. And then right here, we're currently working on installing, um, like, the craft stores, like, bedrooms and stuff like that. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> How much of that's going to happen? Well, we'll see. Curious as to what that mysterious construction ends up being. Let's get some more merchant beds, I think. Or uh, nobles. I don't know why I always want to call them merchants. Often it ends up being the same thing, right? Like, your nobles are the ones who do the trading. But not always. Okay, nice. I'm actually going to tear one of these up. Finish off this set of rooms. Yeah. These are finished, right? Apparently, Acceleron and Funky Tricks are in a relationship. I had no idea. How many dwarves do we have now? 68. Oh, dear God. How many children do we have? Okay, no new children. I'm happy about that. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, go through the... Uh, ish. That sounded like someone found a dead animal. Sir, an oh no, a cow grew up. Really? That's good news. Hmm, made a bracelet. Let's go see it. Look at this guy. Uh, 36,000... Currently, that is the record holder. Oh, that's sad. So this is the, the highest value artifact we've made so far. The dead and missing at one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what that is. Uh, oh god, I, don't, I wonder what that is. Hopefully it's just an animal. So, I will view the description. So it's a Phylite bracelet. All craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It's decorated with willow and encircled with bands of giant cave spider silk and willow. That's a little bit frustrating. We spent a long time fighting and trying to secure cave spider silk for origami. And then we had this guy just like, ah, I'm just going to use it. That's fine. We almost lost several men's lives. That's all right. Subject menaces with spikes of harlequin opal and llama wool. Hmm. And the image is an, on the item is an image of tapered baguette cut gem in phyllite. And on the item is an image of two purple yam plants. Uh, purple yams are interesting. Yeah, if you ever had one, they... they well, if you haven't had one, rather, they taste more like potatoes than yams do. Which is kind of nice. They're super good for you, though. Well, I mean, I guess you can argue that, but what I mean when I say they're super good is they provide a crap load of energy um, compared to, like, other foods. What are we making here? Let's make some... Oh, we need nest boxes. Yeah, that'd be good. So we can get some eggs going on. Get our geese doing something. All right. Well, let's get our miners working. We'll get digging. Where do we put the military? Maybe we put them or below the craft stores for now. Like, I want them, like, closer to the entrance, though, for now. Um, we can put them on one of these layers, yeah. So is this just mudstone? Okay, this is mudstone, yeah. 
That is our central staircase. Oh, it's not. It's the central one. Right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get mining this floor then. We'll have the military be like the, the floor above the Great Hall. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, we'll check that dead and missing. Um, yeah, no idea. Really hoping it was just like livestock or something. I don't think we've lost any dwarves yet in this run. Uh, we lost a doctor, but then the game crashed. So we currently have him. We just had to like rescue him. He was like starving and dehydrated because he somehow jumped on top of a wall. Which is a suboptimal thing to do, but... There you have it. How do we want this barracks to look? How do you make a barracks look really cool? Um, so we need, we need like a large area just for training. And actually what I like to do is... Maybe that. I kind of like to... As pillars? Yeah, I agree with you there. What if we do... Hmm. Not sure. So, I'm... Okay, hang on. I'm going to see if this is still a thing. But it used to be you could build weapon traps. These are them. So what a weapon trap is, is... Um, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, essentially, it's like... Um, a standing up pillared mechanism... That when something walks by it, it like flings out like um, like almost like spring-loaded weapons. Uh, the problem with them is like you can I mean you can make them really powerful by putting super good weapons on them, but the problem is eventually they they jam up and they get stuck on enemies and stuff like that and they have to be reloaded. They're still really cool though. I think RimWorld has a very similar idea. The interesting thing about a weapon trap is if you put like a whole bunch of like wooden weapons on them like. Like wooden, I don't know, hammers or something like that. Technically, technically, like wooden hammers and swords and stuff aren't really going to crazy injure the opponent. They're going to like annoy them and slow them down and wear them down. And eventually, yeah, you can hurt them. But what I remember doing back in the day, and I'm just going to, we're going to see if this is still a thing, is you fill a room with these weapon traps, like sort of space them out. And then you have your dwarves fight in them. Like, you make this, like, this crazy arena. Um, and, and the funny thing about that is, so when your dwarves are training, they're actually getting whipped by all this stuff, and it's making them, like, super tough. You can also, like, make pits that they can fall in and stuff like that. Which, I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> so, maybe we do that. I think, yeah, I think we'll do that. And over on this side, we'll place the, the bedroom for them. That's a nice looking bedroom. Um, so we, we could just make a really large room and then we could separate things. Um, what I think we might do. Okay, let's start with just the standard standard box here. Uh, 10 dwarves in a squad. So if we were to do, this is just an example, but if we do something like this. Okay, what about? Okay, this is looking kind of cool, right? Is that looking cool? Not really. This is cool though. I, I think we do it like this and we're gonna have... Is that even? That's six by, no, six by seven. Oops. So I think the idea is, I think, oh, we just might get 10. I think we get nine though, right? Yeah. The idea is something like this, and then each of the dwarves gets like a bed in these little alcoves. And you know what we could do? Uh, so we could have like this cool pillar here. That's kind of neat. I like that. But then we have like the captain of the dwarves, like gets his bed here or maybe here. I think that could be neat. I think that's a neat looking room actually. I just want to make the military dwarves feel like they get something cool because, you know, they do have a hard job. Let's get real here. Ba -da -ba -bum. 
Alright, I grabbed my list of followers. We can go ahead and do the, the hard stuff here. Oh, who, who was found dead? Oh no, a pony! A pony was dead. Dude, there's like no grass here. Like, they can't eat anything. Oh no, there's grass everywhere, actually. They totally could. Um, why aren't they? Don't we have a meeting area here? Hen pasture. I don't know, they can definitely get to it, the animals. Maybe I have to make it a meeting area? I don't want the dwarves out here, you know? Hmm. You have to sign animals to the pasture? Oh, thanks. Cupo. That's a pretty fun name. Press N while inspecting it. Yoke. Um. Oh, right there. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Ah, whatever. We can just assign everything, really. I don't really care. All those cows we bought in there, too. Sweet! That works for me. Oops. Thank you, man. How would you like the great honor of being the captain of the, the melee militia? Let's let cats and dogs run free. Well, I guess cats do hunt rats. Is that still a thing? Do they still do that? Because I haven't seen any rats in a long time. No, no. 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 Yeah, we got a lot of cats, actually. Might be worth it to start, uh, you know, thinning the herd, as it were. I like the idea that you can assign the pasture. I wish you could, um, like, it just auto-did it, and then you could assign them afterwards. That's okay. That's a minor problem. Hasn't been super safe out here in the first place. That guy just dragging a duck around? Yeah, something good his. Sell kitties? Probably will. Probably. Hey, Flipvine, how you doing, man? Speaking of, yeah, let's, let's get to naming these people. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pause this window for two seconds here, guys. Here, let's bring you over so you can see all the all the fun stuff we're doing. There we go. Let's see here. We have. That good? That seems fine. A whole bunch of people. A whole bunch of dwarves here. So let's look for some guy who can do military out of all this new stuff we have. That looks kinda no, that's Rudy. Hmm. Start right top. Adequate milker? Well, for sure this milker is going in the military. We'll have that be Flipvine. Flipvine is the stereotypical, you know, um, the rags, <laughs> rags to riches. No, the farmer who joins the military thing. Um, let's actually just go ahead and quickly. There's this guy, musician, poet, maceman. Sure, that sounds great. Cupo. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly make a squad here. A squad. We want metal armor. The Mahogany Canyons. It sounds pretty cool, actually. Um, Cubo. Oh, Cubo. I'm sorry, guys. I am slightly blind. Oh, there we go. All right, back to back to our dwarf therapist here. We get Flipvine also in that squad, so he can go ahead and get himself murdered. I mean, I mean, realistically, right? Like, not mur- Oh. Does not realize that squad's there yet? Let's do a quick reread here. There you go. Mahogany Canyon. Yeah, it sounds really classy. 
Um, okay, we got this guy here. It's another crappy farmer. Brewer, cook, beekeeper. Yep, that sounds like I'm gonna die to me. We have Wes Clayton. I don't believe we have him yet. We also be in Mog and Cannons. We have yet another crappy farmer type. Competent hammerman. Okay. That's cool. We like those kind of things. Um, Arcuna. Okay. What's this guy kind of like? Oh, I forgot to assign that guy to the squad. Is this him? Yeah. Okay, another hammerman. I'm liking the idea of maybe going for hammermans. Just watch the Hobbit trilogy? Oh my goodness. So... <laughs> is it okay if I have, um... Not popular opinions? Are we... We're fine with that, right? No one's gonna super hate me? What the heck? Oh, did I crash? Or therapist? Or maybe it's... Oh, winter's upon me. It's reasonable. Uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> so... You know... I did really like the books for The Hobbit. Well, the book for The Hobbit, but I like Lord of the Rings quite a bit. Um, a Rusty Milker. That sounds like quite interesting. Like, that is a story by itself. Let's go ahead and get Sopel here. But yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. The movie just... I didn't mind... Did Ralph Bakshi do the original uh, Hobbit movie? I think so. Kind of looks like his work anyway. Uh, Navy Vet 0263. But, um, yeah, I just didn't end up liking the movie. It just felt shit. It wasn't as fun as I wanted. I don't know. I kind of wanted um, it to be more like Kitty, I guess. Like, the Lord of the Rings movies were, like, fine. I wasn't, like, insane about them, but, you know, in time I learned to like them. Just not, I don't love them. Especially not, um, Return of the King, the third one. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just this boring old guy who just likes his, his old token. It's just not open to new things. I think, so my big issue with The Hobbit, right? Like, if you read The Hobbit book, there's songs everywhere. It's fun. It's a fun freaking adventure. If you want to do, like, deep, dark themes and huge battles, that's what Lord of the Rings was about, you know? You can do that in there. It just felt, like, kind of out of place. Also, I made the mistake um, of watching it in 3D, because that was the only showing they had, actually. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, the, the only showing they had was 3D. And we watched it, and my goodness, uh, it runs at like 22 frames or something. It was pretty terrible. <sighs> it broke my heart to watch. And then they added this weird romance in, right? With like one of the dwarves and somebody else. I don't know. I didn't actually... I saw the first two. I didn't watch the third one. Because at that point, I'd just given up on it, right? I was just like... Pfft. But again, I'm I'm one of those people... Uh, I don't know. I, um... I'm sorry if this is the boring stuff, right? Just, like, naming people. But it's like, I haven't been doing it. And if I don't, I'll keep forgetting. That's fine. But I'm one of those, like, I still haven't seen episode two or three for Star Wars. I saw episode one, I was like, this is bad. And everyone's like, yeah, but, like, you should still watch the other ones. You're a huge Star Wars fan. I'm like, yeah, but it's, it's okay if you don't like something not to support it, not to keep watching it. Like, that's fine. You know what I mean? Like, but, but unfortunately people, like, don't feel that way. You know what I mean? Ralph did the Hobbit cartoon. Oh, okay. Well, the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit cartoons look really similar. So that's why I, I, I knew he did the Lord of the Rings one. Which I really like, by the way. And I think that's that's where I was spoiled. Because 
I watched the Ho or the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit cartoon when I was young. And when I watched the Lord of the Rings movies, I was like, like for the first time in theater, I, I saw the first one. I was like, what the heck? Why is Sam nothing like Sam? You know what I mean? That's the first thing I said. But, I mean, that's just me. Maybe I'm silly. Eh. Uh, so, I, I actually... I only saw the first one. I didn't watch uh, The Two Towers or Return of the King. until so almost ten years later... I mean, my girl... Uh, would it be like ten years later? Yeah, it was a long time anyway. <sighs> Should I have them that close? There should probably be a space, right? Yeah. It would just look a little bit weird. I mean, the dwarves can walk over chairs, but I think it just looks odd. Either way. But anyway, um, so, uh, Kaylin, my awesome, amazing girlfriend, when we were first starting dating, she was like, oh man, you like Lord of the Rings. Like, you got the Lord of the Rings books, you're into that, and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, she had heard that, you know, I hadn't watched the movie. So she like, bought me the DVD collection. I was like, oh. And she was like, what? And I was like, oh, no, no, like, I mean, that's really nice of you, and I understand why. And then you're just like, oh, shit, I don't want to sound like an asshole and be like, I don't like the gifts. You're like, oh, no, it's great. And then she's like, oh, we should watch them together sometime because I haven't really seen them. And I was like, fuck. Then we watched them, and I got to say, can I just say, all right, it took me a long time to finally watch the Lord of the Rings movies again, right? And, and again, I never watched two or three. And I hate admitting I was wrong, but the first movie, Fellowship of the Rings, pretty good. I, I actually really liked it. Second time I watched it, I was like, okay, look, now that I'm I'm older, I'm more cynical, but I'm also more open. You know, because I've seen so many other films, and I can look at this more as like a film critic perspective, rather than when I was in high school and I was just the angsty high school film critic. It's pretty good. Um, I like what they did. I really like the casting of Merry and Pippin. I feel like they flipped them, though. Um, the whole... Like, we watched the whole trilogy, and I didn't realize Merry was Pippin and vice versa. You know? Thanks, Dutchy HD. How you doing, man? But, um... Yeah, aside from that, no, it's really good. The Two Towers, I feel like they focus a little bit too much on some things they shouldn't focus on, and then Return of the King's like garbage, because it's just a huge battle. But that is what it is. I understand why they did what they did. If I, it's one of those things, like, they hired Peter Jackson, you know? And when you hire Peter Jackson, you gotta know what you're getting into. And I'm sure the studio did. But it's not necessarily what I was hoping for. And that's okay. You know? I like some of Peter Jackson's other movies. Most notably his lower budget films. I'm quite a big fan of, um... Shit. What's the... Bad Taste is really fun, um, but I can't remember the name of his other slasher. Some other terrible name. But, th like, those are fun. But, you know, to me, like, he does, like, pretty good low-budget films. Yeah, and it's a weird thing, too, right? So I don't want to be the guy who's like, ugh, well, we didn't have, like, I mean, the stereotypical, when you're talking about Tolkien, right? You're saying, like, oh, there's that, like, two pages describing a single tree in the forest. No, I'm not saying I want that, per se. I just mean, like, there was a lot more I think they could have focused on from a adventure standpoint or something to build some of the major characters than having battles. And the thing about that is if you can build some major characters and you can really understand these people, all of a sudden, hey, I feel a little bit more when Boromir dies. Because what do you know about Boromir in the actual movie trilogy? Not much. There's, you don't really know him. You're like, oh, Sean Bean's kind of a cool guy. You know, if you're the the average American, you're like, ah, oh, this is a human, and I like the human, man. But aside from that, it's like, come on. You know what I mean? You don't know who he is. You don't understand Boromir. You don't realize that, like, you know, <laughs> like his, his corruption doesn't feel as tangible to you because you don't get that much time to like understand it just go like oh Boromir's the guy who went crazy no no dude like 
Gormer did what everyone would do. He, he did what Isildur, or whatever his name is, did at the, the very beginning. You know? It's just human nature, man. Power corrupts and stuff like that. But, like... And then the problem is you get Faramir in the third movie. And you meet him for, like... I don't know. He's in the movie for, like, five minutes or something. I think he's supposed to be, like... like he's a fairly major character in the book. Um, but either way, it's like you meet Faramir and it's like... Who? Oh, Boromir's... Who? Like, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. No, I haven't seen the second, um, or third Hobbit movie, but I did see the second and third Lord of the Rings movie, like, five years ago. Not when they came out, though. And I've still never seen, like, episode four or, f or two and three for Star Wars, or seven, or Rogue One. But, again... It's just, it's just we, we live in this weird time, right? Where everyone's like, oh, this thing sucks. Like, they made a terrible movie. And it's like, okay, but you're watching the sequel right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're, <laughs> you're, you're buying the new Call of Duty. And there's nothing wrong with buying Call of Duty. If you like Call of Duty, go ahead and do it. You know what I mean? I'm happy for you. But if you don't like Call of Duty, you know, or you say it's bad, then why are you buying the next one? I don't get it. You know, stuff like that, man. But I, again, I'm an, I'm an odd person. I just sit here in a pile of cynicism and I just stare longingly at the rest of the world. Wishing it could all be good, but it's not. And I have high hopes for weird things, which is why I tend to like really enjoy um, like indie things or low budget stuff. Because it's like surprising, right? Like, there's actually this video game I was playing recently uh, called Dead Cells. Never heard of it. Um, the Steam page for it seems like it, it's really poorly written. Like, you have no idea what the game's about. Um, well, it tells you, but hang on, i got to read this to you guys. If you don't know what Dead Cells is, this is one of my favorite things. I, I love people that don't know how to market because I, I love reading it and going, oh my good god. So here you go. Now, I'm a big roguelike fan, Okay. And I'm a big Castlevania kind of guy. So let's go ahead and read this here. Dead Cells is a rogue light Metroidvania action platformer. You'll be exploring a sprawling, ever-changing castle, assuming you're able to fight your way past its keepers in 2D Souls light combat. No checkpoints, kill, die, learn, repeat. I heard that and I was immediately like, this is the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. Um, so I went to Kalen because I, I'm actually always curious about people that don't follow these kind of things like you know what do you think about that so i ask her and she's like i don't know what those words mean i know castlevania uh you know i understand like platformer <laughs> yeah you know so i was like yeah like imagine if you're just a nobody and you see that you, you have no idea like souls light combat i mean jeep repo incredible game though absolutely loved it blew me away you know, but like part of really enjoying it something is to have no expectation. In fact, like a, the opposite, a very low, like low expectation. Um, the problem is when you do like a big budget movie, there's no margin for error. Like, you know what I mean? Like if studio gives you like, you know, 20 billion dollars or whatever to make. Yeah, rogue light to mean bizarre things. I agree. Back in uh, my day, being a like roguelike fan for a very long time, and they used to have these coffee break roguelikes. Which is where Rogue Light came from initially, is you'd have the Coffee Break Rogue Light, which is just a Rogue Light, if you will. It's a Rogue Light experience, but simmered down in something you can play in, you know, five to twenty minutes. But now, when we say light, we mean like there's elements of, and it's like, okay, you know, okay. But it, it is odd to me, like some of that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm, I'm like the worst person. You know what I mean? Like, when I play these games, like, I would be the happiest man in the world. For the rest of my life, I could just sit here, sip tea, and talk to people. 
I love it. Uh, which is odd considering, you know, I do have social anxiety, but I've been working on that for years and years and years. And uh, aside from the odd day, mostly when I'm on stream, I feel comfortable. And I just love talking to people about stuff, especially things I'm passionate about. That always feels good. All right, so we have a bunch of idlers. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, shit. Well, hello, hello. Borrowed got voted out of mayor. Well, now he's just our broker. Well, that's okay. Definitely fine with me. Let's go ahead and give this to the... Uh, we can leave it for that. Assign that to our mayor. Our mayor isn't named, actually. So, let's go ahead and get Dutchie HD. Require meager quarters office and blah 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 I'm working on it man I'm working on it I could kick somebody out of those rooms and have like a, a fairly nice one that's all right um right we were gonna go ahead and do the who's doing what and why aren't they doing what I want them to all right well you have nothing to do you're a gem set oh right we got our whole military squad actually yeah let's go ahead and check our nobles right now Cupo is currently the militia captain. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we did actually just dig out a whole nice area. What is that? Cobalite or something? It is cobalite. Very nice. It's extremely nice, actually. Okay. So this will be our barracks. This will be for the Mahogany Canyons. You guys can sleep here. And I believe I need a... Um, a weapon rack. Say, like, you grab your weapons when you come in, I think that makes sense. And also an armor rack, which I forget what it is. Zed, perhaps? No. It is. Come on, eyeballs. I wish I could just zoom in when I go to build something like this. I don't know. I'm completely blind. Hey, new plan. How you doing? Rogue-like or road light just means play a session of up to a few hours that you win or lose. R for rack? No, I got that already. Looking for the we uh, the armor thing. It's all right. <clears throat> um, I'm going to have to respectfully, if you don't mind, uh, disagree with you there, though. Oh, it's A? Thank you. That makes sense. Where is it here? Oh, it's right at the top! Derp! <laughs> well, that's why. I was looking down here by weapon rack, but of course it's... Well, it's not alphabetical, but I mean, it's probably pseudo-alphabetical. Damn it, Toady! You're making sense for once, and I wasn't expecting it. That's my dang. Um, let's see. Craftsdorf? Is this where I make wooden... No. But I, yeah, I'm gonna respectfully disagree. So, if you look at the original, um, for example... We'll skip Rogue. I'm not as familiar with it as I am NetHack. But if you look at NetHack, for example, you know, yeah, it's like two hours long, you win or lose, right? And, you know, it could take less than that. Um, but I think, you know, most people, when they say Rogue-like, they really mean NetHack-like. Because, like, NetHack and Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup and stuff like that were much more fleshed out. Like, I don't know, it, it's kind of weird to me, but... Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I actually completely agree with you, but with that's how the original was. But I mean, it's just the, like, roguelike now is evolved in such a weird term. Like, one of my favorites is, like, um, sort of the stars of the pit, and, like, you're looking at, like, a 10 hour, like, game, probably, you know? Maybe it doesn't take that long. It feels like it does, though, with the extra levels. Like, Dungeon of Dreadmore, you can easily put, like, several hours in. It, it's it's really weird, you know? Um, but I, I think more so the term roguelike would be, like, um, what would be a good definition? Something with permadeath. Definitely permadeath. Hmm. Ran, like, like, randomly generated floors. Procedurally generated. There we go. And... Okay, 
We're going to murder someone. Like, who are we trying to give water to? I swear to God, if it's a cow, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm going to put you guys on active and training. Oh, thank God, thank God. That should cue, get rid of like 10 of my idlers. Hmm. It is a hard term to... Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and build... The... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's winter time, isn't it? So we don't have water. You got me. Oh, it's winter time! Shit, we can finish this now, finally. Well, that's exciting. Um, right, let's finish the old... The old moat. A long time coming. How many dwarves do we have? We have like 69? Oh, I don't think we have 69, that'd be too funny. 68, close enough. I'm sure I killed one of them too bothered by it. It's always risky in Dwarf Fortress. Never recommend it to channel in batches like this. Your dwarves are going to be dumb and kill themselves, but I just don't care enough. I will uh, get this channeling as well. It is winter, so we have like a season and a half, basically, to finish the moat before this goes south. Um, and we really do want to get some water inside the fort so we can get the well going. Speaking of, we do want a well going. How are we going to do that? Do we just make a giant tunnel? I mean, I'm so safer for no real reason. Yeah. It's okay. We'll be. I mean, eventually, because we're going to have the water here. We could bring the water down now. Hold up. Why is everyone thirsty? Do we not have drink? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Are people dying because no drink? Fuck. It, it, I mean, this is a minor problem. Uh, well, let's build another still then. Uh, build in a suboptimal area, perhaps. Right here. Which is good. I and mean, we could just build it, actually, in the room here with the food. It'd be fine for now. Well, now we got to make sure we got barrels. Um, if you're digging out multiple levels of underground, you collapse cavern. True. Absolutely true. Uh, that's why, like, I always just do one at a time. The, the problem is, though, like, when you queue up this batch area, the doors are going to be like, derp, 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 and they're going to, like, drop themselves and whatever. Uh, we, we just need to figure out the whole, like, nobody has water and they're all going to die of thirst thing. Um, which, mining the ice might fix that. Right? Well, it does get access to some water. Okay, we're going to go ahead, and I don't normally do this, but I always forget if you need priority one or, like, I think it's you want a higher priority, so I set it to one. Let's go get some water, guys. Hopefully we get some brewing going on. So we need a full-time brewer, honestly, at this point. Uh, Flex Point currently does a competent of brewing. So we're going to go ahead and turn off here. You don't even need you on any of that stuff, basically. Just 24-7 brew, and if you're not brewing, you know, eh, that's fine. It's just because we probably ran out of stuff. Oh, you, you're absolutely right. We could do the designate things properly. That is, that is like, super smart. Okay. Why don't we do that, then? Um, oops. Yeah, de designations is like great. I just like, if you do the lazy way, you're going to get everyone killed. At the same time, the lazy way is like 100 times easier, so. Like, I mean, right there, they're going to collapse a cavern. Do you live in Asia? No, I live on the east coast of Canada. 
um, maybe you hear me do the odd slurp. I apologize. I've just recently actually got rid of my caffeine addiction. Um, I don't have a caffeine addiction. I've never like done energy drinks or anything like that. But one thing I have done, I gotta set this to priority one actually because they're gonna collapse if I don't. But hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Why is this not free? Did I not do that? Oh, no, I just I've always been a night owl. I don't know. Well, let's find out what's going on. It's 4.14 a.m. Yep. But yeah, I got rid of my, my drinking of the Coke. Now I'm just consuming mass amounts of tea. Quick, get him a bottle of ale. Okay. Uh, our miner who was digging this pit that we need to survive just shit a baby out in the hole. Which, honestly, that's probably fine. Water birth, they say, is pretty good. I don't know. Whenever I think of water birth, though, I think of that movie where uh, the lady, she's like completely vegan. She wants to do, like everything au naturel. And then the baby like eats her, um, like eats meat. You know the one? And then she ends up like murdering someone to feed it to her. And then she takes it on the road and it like chews her boob off. Yeah, I have a drawbridge right now. Um, or do you mean like a drawbridge over this? Yeah, I mean, we've been waiting, like... Okay, so is priority one not the higher priority, or is it, like, is it a lower priority? It's gotta be a lower priority. I have no idea. No, no, it's, it's a movie. Um, sorry, there's like a whole bunch of weird horror films I've seen. Seven is lowest. Oh, well, it's weird they're not doing this right now, then. Right? Oh, because I have to do... Oh, I see. Gotcha. I gotta do this part first. Yep. Yep, that's fair. Completely fair. It goes east to west. Or, no, west to east, I think. It starts on this side, yeah. I'm pretty sure. We'll find out in time. There we go. We got water, boys! Y'all can start drinking and stuff. And are, are we brewing? We're brewing. Thank God. Honestly, we probably need two brewers. I'm going to put a guy, like, just on brewing and cooking. Hmm. Sounds like Daniel Danny Carr. What do you do for a living? Oh, nothing useful, apparently. I don't see it on the useful list. Pressing. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't even know what that I mean, I do know what that means, but you know what I mean. Not interested. Um, I will put you on food, though. Food and refuse, because you're cooking. So that should be water, so people should stop starving. The drawbridge to claw the flows. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was thinking... Floodgates. Um, I'm pretty sh shit. I can't remember which way it goes. But I think what we are going to do though is uh, floodgates. But thank you. I absolutely agree. That's a genius idea. Uh, can I not mind that? Okay, I can. Yeah, it's one of those things. So, um, to anyone that doesn't know, as it seems like we have a fair number of new faces around today. Um, I played the crap out of Dwarf Fortress a long time ago, but it is not a long time ago anymore, and I didn't really touch 2014, uh, which, I mean, I think, I think 2014 is great and all. It's just, I'm so out of the loop, like, the whole medical thing was like, whoa. Clean water by pipes, and the water filter through it. Well, that's cool. Good morning, origami. No, um, well, you can also, like, running water is always clean, as far as I know. It's just, it, we're so cold here, we don't really have running water for a lot of the time. So let's get some floodgates. I think I have enough. Uh, I have enough for one side. Um, go ahead and get our mason here. 
screw tables. Well, cabinets... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Cabinets are nice, too. Floodgate is what? L? Okay. So these are all a priority. I need... Oh. And then afterwards, yeah, cabinets would be nice. Get a few of those going. I'm happy with that. Okay. I, like, I wonder if everyone's going to die because of the thirst thing. One of our dwarven babies is dead. Or missing. Probably got baby snatched. I would not be surprised. Yeah. How's the water or the brewing going? We got 18 drink, guys. Come, Everyone just freaking drink up. I think we're gonna die because I didn't build a well yet. Yeah, but I think people are like getting to the point where like they're so injured, like... Um. Yeah, things are freaking out right now. Like this guy. Like he's th he's just thirsty though. He's not like dying. Oh man, these. Just... Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry, everybody. Where's okay? Hang on. We need to wait for the the panic thing to happen. Right there. Sound effects. Let's turn no sound effects. I think I did that right. I have no idea. No, that's still not happening. Only if they're hurt do they need water. That's what I was pretty sure, but... The game doesn't seem too sure about that, so... Yeah, the two-tone flute. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I gotta go through. So let's see here. Sound Confederation. Where is... Axe. Maybe events? Because, man, that is like the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. Cancellations. Yes. Disable group. Get out of my life. Huh? No, apparently it's not cancellations. Um. Really? Because it looks like they're cancellations. Oh, wait. Reload configuration. Hang on. Let's try this. Ha ha! Believe! That's beautiful. That's like the best thing I've heard all year. Got some floodgates, eh? Got two of them, nice. Those are the emergency floodgates. Oh, shit. Shit. It's definitely happening a lot less, though. Up to 29 drink. It's just the one guy running between two, I think. Oh, right, we were gonna set... No, no, I thought I set someone else up to just brewing and stuff. We should have two guys brewing, yeah? Plus one sleeping. It was um, Daniel, Danny Carr. Store item in bin. Wasn't it this guy? Brewing cooking. All he does is haul food and... Well, I guess he's hauling food or refuse. Fair enough, I guess. Okay. Go ahead and channel all this now. Should we do it the safe way? Yeah, we should. How is everyone doing tonight? Or today? If you're, like, most people that watch me, like, when I stream this time, are, like, European or something. So it's normally day when I stream for them. Which, I mean, makes total sense. Yeah, one of our babies been missing for a week. Do not even remotely care, honestly. I hate the babies. They're the worst. Oh, we got some puppies. You were playing games with Bar and Rudy's internet shit the bed? Well, they live close to each other. 
Babies are a renewable resource. They're the worst, though, man. They're just like FPS deaths. Also, get the dogs out and assign it to him in case he goes mad. Okay, people are dehydrated. Like we have water, though. We don't have water. But we have beer. I mean, technically, beer dehydrates you, actually. But it doesn't work that way in Dwarf Fortress. Um, like there's water here. Right? Like, there's... I mean, I see water there. I don't know. It's true. We do not have a water source. Um, we could build a well really quick in a bad spot and then tear it up later. You know, that... Like, we could do that. Not really. I wonder if our guys all die or like, will the dehydrated guys drink beer? Or do we have to give them water? Do you know what I mean? I have no idea. No idea. Hey, Mr. Perv San. Wow. <laughs> Presumably that name is supposed to be pronounced slightly differently, no? It, maybe. Maybe it is supposed to be Perv San. Who knows? Okay. Mahogany Canyons. You guys train here, of course. And you also... Doesn't really matter. We'll set up equipment and stuff later. I claim this workshop in the name of invention. The name of invention. Uh, oh yeah, I want to set this uniform real quick. Weapons, not individual choice though. Um, I think there's a way from doing it, like doing it for this individual squad. I think. I don't want what happened there. Oh no no no! What I want is this, but I want uh, war hammers. There we go. Yeah. I think I got that, Mister Perv. Oh oh right right right. So you're going with the Japanese like San? I get ya. I mean, everyone is going to starve to death. Or, well, not starve to death. I mean, thirst to death. Unless they just walk upstairs. Oh, all of this wonderful booze. I think they're doing it. I think, I think we're okay. We're probably fine. I agree. The military interface is terrible. Yes. Dwarf Fortress is one of those games, it is absolutely wonderful, but the interface makes me want to smash my face on a brick. And, and you know, and I, I can't even, like, it's frustrating because, like, the game isn't hard. You know, it's just tricky. Okay, who died? So, I heard somebody die, right? Oh no, people just became a militia commander and it sounded like terrible. <laughs> Thank you! So, right, uh, the plan for this fort to the people that have missed out, because again, we do seem to have a lot of new people tonight, so that's exciting. Um, but here's kind of the plan. So, this is going to be a massive tower. It's going to spiral. Well, not spiral. Not That's a lie. But it is going to go straight up into the sky. It's going to be super cool. We're going to have a middle, sort of like a maybe a 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five type of area. Uh, just a huge tube, essentially, out of glass. And we're going to be kicking bodies off the top down this glass. And it's going to fall all the way straight down right into the middle of our Great Hall. Probably about here. And um, we're going to have some some grates, I think, above that. This might be a bit dangerous just throwing bodies into the middle of our, our Great Hall. But aside from that, meh. I don't know. I just kind of like the idea of executing people by, you know, showering their blood and guts on top of everyone eating. And we're also going to have a, a moat in the middle of our Great Hall, which is completely stupid. 
because dwarves are going to um, drown, but it's also fun. And we're also setting up my favorite thing in Dwarf Fortress, which is a sort of a caste-esque system. I really enjoy people having their own quarters far away from everyone else, for example. Um, once we get it set up, all the craft dwarves are going to be like here, for example. The farmers are, are here, and we're going to have like tiered people getting better rooms based on how important they are in society. <laughs> Blood while eating sounds like casual affairs. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah, um, man, so it used to be, like, I swear, a hundred times easier to get, like, your mark stores to train. Look at this guy, he doesn't even sleep on the bed, ever. I don't know. We, there's problems. Social cast? Yeah, well, we're gonna have, like, an entire cast that is just people, and honestly, I'm tempted to get to that point soon. Which is just people that, like, only haul stuff. You know what I mean? Like, they just, like, cart things around with wheelbarrows and whatnot. Just to make things easy on everyone else. Um, once we get that set up, though. Yeah, those people are going to be shit tier. Yeah, Mark Stores, yeah, they, it used to be pretty overpowered. But here's the thing. I don't see, in, in a game like Dwarf Fortress, I don't see the problem with something being overpowered. Also, why is there a crossbow here? I don't know. God only knows. But, like, I don't see there a problem with some, like, stuff being overpowered. Right? Because you set the challenge. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, like, oh, yeah, I can take Mark Stores and, like, go be OP and cheese strat into, um, you know, an ice biome. Yeah, you can. But at the same time, it's like, you could also, you know, only use melee or only use traps and then go into, like, a super easy biome. Like, it's entirely up to you. You know what I mean? Scourges and what are they? Oh, we should probably get around the building those floodgates, by the way, before I forget. Perfect. Well, it seems like people have stopped dying. So that that's generally a plus in my eyes. Uh, not always. Let's go ahead and prepare some easy meals, I think. Uh, no, 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 no. Lavish meals. Yeah, well, actually, I'm gonna stop doing that because I only cook. I want just to be brewing right now. Uh, I'm actually really tempted to just set up another still here. Because it's gonna take us a little bit to catch up on beer. Eventually we will, but it is gonna take us a little bit right now. Who's someone that I don't think does stuff? Well, this guy is literally not doing anything. God damn it, Grazilian. What do you do around here? Oh, you, yeah, well, you actually do things. Apparently. <laughs> Who's someone else with no job? Trissy. Trissy should have a job. This gem setter guy, I'm pretty sure I gave some weird job. No, he sets gems. Okay, don't care. That's fine. Right, food and refuse, please. And then go be another brewer. That'd be good. So, so scourges are like a kind of whip. Seems pretty cool. Well, we got we got our training going on. Like here's the problem. Like the mark stores like just do not use this at all. I don't know. Like I have an archery range right here for training. I don't know. We have the bedroom here. I don't know, man. Maybe I need more bolts. Okay, people are dehydrated still. Okay, well, we have booze, so that's their problem. Scourge is an edge weapon that consists of a spike or a blade, bladed weight on the end of a flexible length of material. Low contact area and high velocity. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they're kind of like like scorpion tail tails, really. That's super neat, actually. 
I didn't know something like that like existed, but I love it. Let's get some more rock crafts. Those are always good. Let's get some armor stands and weapon racks. Tables and chairs and stuff. And then, yeah, we need some bolts. Uh, we can put wooden bolts on repeat for now, I think. That's okay. And they're not great, but again, we just need training stuff. Well, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a flail, but it, that sort of makes it seem like it's, like, really long. Like, that seems really cool. Make a squad for them. That sounds awesome, actually. I really like the idea of it. Oh, right. Uh, carpenter. Perfect. So, why don't you go ahead and cancel that bed? And I want training swords. I'm actually going to priority all these, if I remember. Bingo. I think we probably have some extra people around. Got a metal crafter here. What do you do? You craft metal. Well, I mean, what it says on the tin, it's not super exciting. Yeah. Uh, I think you're going to go into... Oh, no, we lost him. I think you're going to go into my favorite squad, which is the Stonework Squad. <laughs> Either way, we'll go ahead and have Mr. Pervs on. I mean, make them heavy armored and place them on the front lines? Hell yeah, dude. Sounds like awesome. We have an axe dwarf. I'm pretty sure I told everyone to wear Warhammers, which I don't have, so maybe they're like freaking out because like they don't have Warhammers, but I don't really like the idea of people just training with uh, axes, I'll be honest here. Yeah, that they've got some random weapons around. Leading dodgy, dodging demonstration, nice. Okay, well, I want to build some weapon traps. Because, again, you used to be able to do this. I want to see if you still can. Oh, you can build crossbows? No, shit, no. We're not going to build them out of crossbows. All right, we'll wait till we get our training swords. How's, the, how's this mining coming? Jeez, you miners take forever. I got four miners, too. Well, I, technically, I only have three picks. Can't really blame them. Is my maybe I didn't build the forge yet. So furnaces, nope. W forge. Maybe forge is here. Slab statue. No. It's not. It's not in the smelter, right? That's not where you make it. That's just where you. Cut stuff down. Metalsmith's Forge. There it is. I was pretty sure... Oh, shit. Okay. Pretty sure. And my armor, you are playing with your duckling. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Um, I'm going to take you off animal hauling, sorry. I would much rather you make me weapons and armor. I'll, I'll be quite honest, actually. Um, refuse is good. Burial is good. Furniture, not so much. Best armors play with their duckling? Well, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. I think this is good. This got built, yeah. Okay. This, this song always reminds me of Final Fantasy. I'm sure it's from one, I just don't know which one. It really reminds like Final Fantasy VII actually kind of reminds me of. No, I've actually been thinking about playing like Final Fantasy on stream. I'm I, like I really like them. I like RPGs in general though. 
But it's just one of those things. It's a long commitment, and sadly, I don't have the time I used to. So it's really hard for me to like play through an RPG. You know, I just don't get to enjoy them as much as I used to. Yeah, absolutely. Like when you're, yeah, just walking around and stuff. Can't reach sight. What? Oh, is it because you're down here somewhere and you're dumb? Does this not go down that far? No, it does. Hmm. I'm confused. I don't have some guy locked up on top anymore, do I? Right, let's try and find this guy. Let's see where he got himself lost, shall we? West Cl I don't know, not him. No idea what he's trying to build. It's fine though. Middle Smith's Forge is up and running. Not yet. Working on it though. Oh, he's actually our smelter as well, right? So that is gonna take a little while. Um Do we keep him as the smelter? We can have somebody else go in the smelting. Somebody who doesn't do things, for example. Like a broker borrowed. All you do is broke shit anyway. But it's it's funny because I like having the nobles not do stuff. FF9 just came out with an HD remake for the P4. Oh. FF9. It's up there. I don't know if it's. Is it my favorite? It's hard to say. Final Fantasy VII was there for me. My more transformative years. Final Fantasy IX was pretty good. I, it's it's tough. I think I like nine more than seven for the most part, but I think seven, believe it or not, had a better villain. You know what I mean? Uh, well, I was in I was in grade two when I got Final Fantasy VII, I guess. I think grade two. I don't know. I remember writing about it in my journal. I used to think Cloud Strife was like the coolest thing ever. And he is, so Shh, don't judge. <laughs> but I don't know. Final Fantasy, yeah, Final Fantasy IX was like a better written story than a lot of the other Final Fantasies. It had just incredible characters, but the villain was like kind of weak. Yeah. I was about as edgy as his sword. Oh, totally. You gotta imagine, like, I was in grade two. Um, yeah, because I bought it when it... Well, I got it for my birthday, sorry. I didn't buy it, but I got it when it first came out. And I, it came out in 97, I believe. Um, so, grade two, yeah. Ish. Well, I was born in 90, so you can, you can do the math. But, yeah. I was thinking maybe instead of doing, like... I do love Final Fantasy, but I was thinking maybe instead of doing Final Fantasy, maybe... Doing like a, I don't know. I just want to play like another RPG. Um, I got Kalen into a Super Mario RPG. It's awesome. But she doesn't often play games, so like when I can be like, "Hey, play this game. It'll be a lot of fun. I'll just set up like Super Nintendo. We'll have a good time together." And then she like plays it and goes like, "Oh my god!" You know what I mean? Like it just feels good. Obviously. Yeah, she's having a lot of fun with it. But it just makes me creep because I like Super Mario RPG a lot. I think it is one of the best RPGs out there. But that doesn't make it like one of... Like, hmm, hear me out. I think it's one of the best games out there. I don't know if I'd say it's like one of the best RPGs. It's it, like it's such a weird little distinction, right? It is so well designed, so fun, like it's just it's just good. Good and enjoyable. But the problem is, like you know, it, it just as great as Super Mario RPG is, it does lack the wonderful story that you get from these things. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that to me, like, I love the narrative. I love the story. I love the role-playing elephants. And it's like, you do get a lot of great things in Super Mario RPG, but the things you don't get are a great narrative, and great characters, Spring and a is here. really good story. 
<sighs> I um, do not... Actually, I own both of those, Mr. Furf. I was going to say, I don't own Dragon Quest VIII. I haven't played it, but I have I have added it to my little collection. I don't really collect games as much as, like... Like, I love games and movies and stuff like that, but I don't buy things for the sake of buying them. You know, I saw Dragon Quest VIII last year or something like that. We were in Toronto, and I was like, oh, man. Someday I'm going to play this. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's really well done, actually. Like, I, I think... For what Nintendo allowed them to do, Square did a very good job with the story of Super Mario RPG. It's just, you know. <laughs> elements, elements, origami. But either way, yeah. I kind of want, uh, I don't know. Like, so I'm thinking like something shorter maybe, right? Like, test the waters. Because like, by no means, like, do I stream to appease people. You know what I mean? If I did, I probably wouldn't be playing Dwarf Fortress, or I'd probably only be playing Dwarf Fortress, or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't wouldn't run the variety show I do. Um, and I, at the same time, like, it's like such a big commitment to like get into some of these RPGs. Like, Final Fantasy, like nine, for example, it's like forty five hours long, like minimum probably, and it's like. Do I want to sit down and do that? I don't know, like maybe, but then I've already beat it. So it's like, I wouldn't like want to like play it again unless I was experiencing it with someone else. Okay, someone did a dumb, fucked up his right hand. But aside from that, probably okay. You know? And like, I, I would play through Final Fantasy IX in a heartbeat if I thought Kaylin and I could sit down and do it, but she's just, you know. She's busy, I'm busy. It's not ideal. Let's make this a crappy hospital. Honestly. It's not good, but... It'll do for now. It's got a couple beds in here. Yeah, I don't know. That's... It was, feels a bit weird. Well, it's something I'll think about. Maybe I'll just do like Fallout 2, for example. I think like Fallout 2 is not too long, right? I've, I've never really played it. I've only ever played Fallout 1. I've played like the beginning of Fallout 2, where you try and enter the temple and then you die to all the scorpions. I've done that. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do this because our dwarves are really stupid. Like super stupid. Follow one on stream actually. We beat it pretty quickly. I want to say like 10 hours, something like that. But I'm pretty sure it's a lot shorter than two. Like, from my understanding, my issue with Fallout 2, like, so I, I played Fallout 1 not when I was young, I didn't play Fallout 1 until I was actually kind of old. Um, probably like 16. The shit, how are these even hanging? Oh, right. I guess they're on something. But, um, yeah, I played it and I was like, hmm, pretty good. Then it's like, follow it too, though. It's like, you start up and then the, um, oh god, this is not gonna work. Fuck. I just pray they don't mess it up. But like follow two, like if you sorry, I, I get distracted. Like if you start Fallout Two with a suboptimal build, you just lose. That's it, kids. You know? Oh, I see what they're doing. Oh. And it sucks, but like that's what it like it's so hard. Like the initial part of Fallout Two. No, I'm one of those guys, like, I, I, I'd like to explore stuff. 
but I never 100% RPGs. You know, because I always play it like I'm the character, right? Like, which is weird, um, but like, it's kind of, so it's kind of hard to explain. Um, so what I'll do, like, if I come up to a mission and, or like, a, you know, you get like a side quest and I don't think it's something like I want to pursue, I just don't do it. And I rarely like replay them, you know, but I'll read about other people replaying them. Sometimes, sometimes I will if I think the game's really good, but aside from that, like, I just like to do it like once and like get this really cool experience of how things are and stuff. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, actually, um, I still have somewhere, uh, Mr. Perfs, um, the manual for Ruins of Myth Renor, which is this epic AD&D fantasy adventure, like a 200 page manual. <laughs> And you're like, wow, 200 page manual, but it's literally all the story. <laughs> they didn't have enough memory on the, the little floppy disks. So what you do is like, you put it in and you like talk to the bartender. It's like, turn to page, just like 23. And you're like, what? You go over and then you read what the bartender says to you. Oh my God. Something happened, right? Somebody die? Somebody die? A troglodyte, I guess. Not too worried about it. How is everybody? Okay, you're resting. Origami, you're supposed to rest in the bed, you never... Oh, man. What a guy. I'm really sorry. Like, when it gets late, I just sit here, I'm just playing, I'm having a great time just chilling with Dwarf Fortress and talking to you guys, and then I'm like... Man, I'm not playing the game. I'm just, like, having a good time chatting with you guys. Like, why are you even here? Go home. You know what I mean? Like, start rioting. That's what I would do. I wouldn't ride, actually. This is what I enjoy. I just like chilling. And I, I like watching people who just chill and stuff, too, so... That's me. Not, not your mainstream Twitch audience. I'm tempting to start making jewelry, but... Oh, yes! I don't think we have bags, but I would love to collect some sand and get that going, actually. Uh, we could probably build some here out of yarn. Bag. Perfection. I think it's year two when you start worrying about uh, clothing, but we can always we can always import. Don't break my immersion of Dwarf Fortress by telling me to not have fun with Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> yeah, true. Another game I've been wanting to play lately, because um, I've been playing Dwarf Fortress and like, it's funny. So I played RimWorld and RimWorld wanted me to play Dwarf Fortress. Like, of course it did. And then I was playing Dwarf Fortress, and like playing Dwarf Fortress made me want to play another just completely ridiculous um, Unreal World. I don't know if you guys know it, but it's super old as well. It's basically... Oh yeah, no water? That could be a problem. Uh, truth be told. Unreal World's like this really old game? I don't know, it's hard to explain it. It's like a survival game. You, you know, you build a little hut somewhere and you try to survive the winter and you don't. You don't survive the winter the first 20 times you do it. But it's just got one of the worst interfaces known to man. It's got some of the worst graphics known to man. It's just complete shit. But it's super in-depth and it's a lot of fun. And you really get into this feeling of like Iron Age Finland. Survival roguelike. That's a good way of putting it, Eat my ferret. Yeah. Do you guys remember, um, there's another roguelike I've always wanted to try. I love, I love how I said that, like, that would help you. <laughs> Hang on, um, I want it. hmm, so it had an, oh, this is why it reminded me, it had an open world. Or like pseudo open world. Uh, you're like explore the world map. There's caves and quests and stuff like that. Like it was like a really big open road. Like, what was the name of it? Why can't I remember? Ancient domains of mystery. That's it. That's the one. That's what I'm thinking probably. No, Tome is great. 
I've played Tome quite a few times, actually, on stream. I've actually chatted with, um... Okay, fun fact. So, <laughs> being, like, um... Backstory, y'all heard it. But, um, you know, believe it or not, this this guy here, you know, been streaming for, for two years and a bit now, um, used to stream long time ago, used to, like, write reviews up for all sorts of stuff, used to, um, like, mostly movie reviews and some games, but yeah, you know, I, I, I used to do stuff, like, way back in the day, and I, you know, I, I stopped, but, um, anyway, uh, because of this, you know, there are a few people that have managed to still know me, which is kind of nice. But the funny thing is, uh, occasionally I get emails from, like, all sorts of people, mostly complaining about stuff I do on stream. Okay. Alone is pretty cool, actually. Uh, everyone always remembers the first time they get back to that first town and just like, oh, bear, dog, cat, little girl. Hmm, which of these will be my companion? And obviously you always take the little girl and then everything gets weird. But I've got a huge, huge folder of, like, weird roguelikes, actually. Um, but I've never played Adam, no. Anyway, point is, Tales of Magial. I was playing the uh, DLC for it when it first came out. It was called the, the Steampunk one. You know, the Orc Steampunk one? Anyway, I was playing that. And then I get an email from one of the... Um, not the developers, one of the guys who wrote the story for Tales of Magial. And he was like, hey, saw your stream, it's pretty cool, blah, 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 stuff like that. Also, you totally fucked up the story, dude. There's a huge difference between, like, giants and ogres or something like that. And he was, like, trying to explain to me, like, this stuff. I'm like, oh, damn. Damn it! I don't know. I'm sorry. He's done for. Edge went insane. Why? Was he trying to build something this whole time? I guess so. I don't know. I think I gotta give up Door Fortress, guys. Like, maybe just for tonight. There's, like, so much I'm trying to do, but it's like... Look at this shit! See what's wrong with this shit? I can't tell what's going on, because every two seconds, the game's yelling at me about something. And it's not every two seconds. It's ten times every one second. But... Hmm. Man. Why do I have to get old? You know, why does anyone have to get old? Why is it this game could be so fun to me? Like, just like the mystery and the wonderment, but then the second you learn how to play the damn thing, it's like... Well... It's, it's pretty good. But like... It takes too long to do all the cool stuff. You know? Life is so weird. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's the lack of proper caffeine talking. Oza. Ever since I got sick, I just mean like stupid. I'm like more down than normal, and like my, my anxiety's been like super bad. I couldn't tell you why. Okay, so what's happening here? Well, we have a floodgate that didn't install correctly. Also, I was wrong about the direction of the river. Um, no, there is a floodgate there. Just water still coming through it. Hmm, it's curious. Why is that? Why is that? Literally the whole point of a floodgate. I think there is a piece of ice there. But the ice would have melted. <laughs> hmm. No, it's possible that there was ice there before. And then it melted. But then the floodgate should have been there, presumably. But it could be it can't close because there's water running. But I know floodgates can close on water for sure. Like, that's weird, right? It's not just me. But okay, so this has an unfroze. What? Why is this still? 
What the fuck? Is only half the map got warm? Not even half, just this tiny corner. Oh no, well, there's a little bit more to it. Okay, now the whole thing's working. Okay, well it's flooding through, it's definitely going through these floodgates here. Uh, in fact, those floodgates are gone now. So all these floodgates have died now. Uh, why are the floodgates gone, though? Uh, um. Hmm. 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 That's curious. I've never just seen floodgates get deleted before. Hmm. Well, this is a conundrum. You know what? It's stupid, but th this is this made me happy. That's why I love I love fucking dumb shit happening in Dwarf Fortress, and my brain trying to go like, what? The fuck? That's what I like. All right. Well, I have no idea. This this went this went to shit creek. And they still never clear these priority one targets. I don't even know if they can get to it, honestly. They would have to like walk on top of this and then mine it, but I don't think they're smart enough to. Amount of pressure broke the floodgate? That's not a thing, Origami. Is it? Let me Google that. I'd be really surprised to learn that. I think... <sighs> I think that would like kill the FPS. Hang on. No, I don't see anything like that. Hmm. Looking. No, I don't see. I don't see anything like that, guys. Sorry. It is. Well, that's really cool. Um, so I'm down with pressure breaking things. Don't get me wrong. I think that is good. I don't understand it, but I'm down. Either way, I'm probably just gonna call it for here. My brain is just full of shit. I'm sorry about that. What do we do? Well. Can we keep doing stuff? It's five o'clock. I guess not. Water pressure. Oh, sick. Thank you. Uh, uh, a little bit messed up your link, but that's all right. We got it. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to look into this, actually. It doesn't seem like it... affects floodgates. Just right now. Either way, uh, take it easy, everyone. Y'all have a nice night. You know, I normally, I've started recently saying the whole, like, uh, hey, you know, you could drop a follow or something like that. Because I've been seeing quite a few uh, new people around. But honestly, it's not really fair to ask you to do that. Because I'm not sure if I'll be doing Dwarf Fortress tomorrow. I'm sure a lot of you are here for that. Don't know what I will be doing, though. But I do usually run, like, a, a variety of stuff. Could be Factorio, maybe. I don't know. Could be, like, Unreal World or some roguelike. Maybe we do follow. I couldn't tell you. Won't know until tomorrow night. So, either way, y'all have a nice night, and I will see you uh, around, or some of you at least. The regulars. That's for the rest of you. Take it easy. And, uh, yeah.